Hi, Ruth. Hi, Michelle. And lovely to see you today. And you. We have a change of scenery today. We blame the internet. If we'd have stayed in Crystal Cabin, we may have ended up in Kansas City. Oh dear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're in the Crystal Cottage in Zed, in my therapy room. Lovely to have you with us today for Network She Health and Wellbeing Academy. So today we're having conversations with yourself. Do you want to introduce yourself and let everybody know what makes you happy? Yeah, definitely. So I'm Ruth, Ruth Tansy. Um, I'm a nutritional therapist. I also do uh, coaching, wellbeing coaching, specifically helping people with chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, um, and ME. Um, my nutrition therapy is very supportive for people with gut health issues, um, which is kind of what I'm really, really passionate about. Um, I am recently single um, after a, a very long term relationship. So I'm just kind of like finding my feet a little bit with that. Um, I don't have any children. I have a beautiful cat uh, called Isis. <laughs> She's actually an Egyptian goddess, but when we start calling on our house to come in, it's a bit like, oh, maybe we should have called her something else. Um, and what, oh, what makes me happy? Well, she makes me happy. Um, I love just like maybe curling up on the sofa watching Netflix with Isis on my knee. The oh. cat, that is. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then other things that make me happy, I love going on holiday, I love being by the sea. Um, I really do want at some point to get my own place abroad where I can just retreat off to, oh, um, to, to do some nurturing, um, but also be able to work as well. Um, so be able to, I guess, combine my two passions of helping people and also maybe nurturing myself too. Oh, that's quite nice. That sounds um, fabulous. That's yeah, fabulous. and I love keeping fit. I, I'm really super passionate about you know health and wellness, so I really do try and like you know walk the walk, talk the talk kind of thing. So I do lots of different activities. I do pole fitness. Um, I've been doing that for years, and I I absolutely love it. I was a gymnast as a as a kid, so it's kind of like a progression, I suppose, a little bit from yeah. that. But uh, wanting to yeah, kind of keep those sorts of skills and things up as well but um definitely not a sexy thing to do no it's just very very hard <laughs> <laughs> uh, and i do my yoga as well so yoga makes me happy my meditation keeps me all nice and balanced and calm so yeah that's probably yeah and meeting friends obviously um just a lot of spending time with my friends and my family um going out for nice healthy lunches and that kind of thing i don't go out like drinking or anything <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go out for nice meals so yeah lovely um, very nice super sounds fabulous so do you want to tell us a little bit about your background Ruth wow so um yeah I definitely wore a different hat many many years ago before I came into this arena uh, I worked in the corporate world um I started off working in toys I worked uh, for Disney on oh, uh, well I worked at great universal stores within new business which was the Disney catalog so we had lots of fun with toys and other Disney related products. So it was quite a fun time. So that was like a buying, a buying role. I worked within e-commerce. Um, I had another toy role where I was working with all sorts of different toys for a company called Character Options. I worked for Rogue Two. Um, I did all the um, mobile phone accessories into all the retail and franchise stores. And then my last role was with Focus DIY doing hand tools. <laughs> <laughs> and power tools of which I knew nothing about and it was like mega mega stressful <laughs> um, but, but I decided to completely uh, change my career um I'd had some really really great um help and support with with nutrition um to get myself well many 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 moons ago and I decided when I took uh, voluntary redundancy to take some time out and think about what it was that I really wanted to do and because I'd been so poorly um, and so let down by the medical model mm -hmm. um, and you know turned to all different manner of natural practices to get myself well um, I wanted to, to, to do that I wanted to be able to a cure myself and, and then be um, you know, help other people, you know, let, let people know that there is, a, there is another way when you're getting told everything's normal, you're fine from the doctors and yet you're in and out of hospital and you're on every medication and clearly it's not normal and no. not right. 
um, mm -hmm. that actually, you know, the, the, the natural way is, you know, a, a support system to, to, to get you well and, and you don't have to put up with those symptoms. So, yeah, so that was a, a, a big thing for me. So, yeah, past was the corporate arena, lots of stress, lots of targets, lots of deadlines, and then really came into my own, want to set my own business up. I think working for myself is definitely right for me. I'm a very driven person. Mm -hmm. um, and I put myself under enough pressure without anyone else additionally adding things. <laughs> yeah. We do tend to do that, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. We do. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's quite a different, the story of your background to what you're doing now. It's really quite different, but it's very inspirational for the, your story about it being a personal journey. I always find that in, in therapy, it really helps people to connect when they know that you really do understand. You, you've had a taste of it yourself. Yeah, and you know, I think that's what my clients like as well, to, to be honest with you. That, you know, I, I get a lot of that, that, that they feel like they're supported properly and understood yeah. and again when they go to the doctors they're just dismissed mm -hmm. so yeah and it's about and, and everyone's so different as well and you know I work really 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 closely with my clients and they all have different needs and they all need at different levels of support and I want to make sure that I am giving to them exactly what it is that, that they need to help them along their journey and whether it is like a, a lady I was working with the other week it was just like have a week off have a week off eat mm -hmm. what you want just let's just start again and don't be stressing out about everything you know people just the anxiety can build in them for, for whatever reason and it's just yeah a lot of a lot of the clients I work with have those perfectionistic tendencies yeah can't do it 100% I've absolutely let myself down and, and, and I'm trying to say no you haven't no you haven't let's take a few steps back if not a hundred <laughs> let's just chill out and let, let's start again yeah, yeah so yeah. Brilliant. understanding people and yeah being able to adapt and, and give them what what they want and I guess I'm lucky in that respect that I have that type of character or personality to be able to do that which helps a lot I guess when you're working with a lot of very different people yeah yeah, yeah. we are completely all yeah. individuals and react in our own different ways don't we to different mm. Yeah. So what's the name of your business, Ruth? And when did how long have you been in business? So the name of the business is Inner Health um, or Inner Health Clinic. Um, so I set Inner Health Clinic up in 2011. Um, I do clinic hydrotherapy as well. I don't know whether you've heard of that. Um, that was so beneficial to me because I had chronic constipation from about being 15 and just awful bloating. Mm. And chronic hydrotherapy, even though it, you know, it doesn't get to the root cause of things, but it can really, really help you very quickly feel a hell of a lot better. So for me, it was an absolute godsend and, and I, I would just say a, a life save, you know, to get my bowel and moving once a day from, you know, once a week, if I was lucky, I think the longest I used to go was maybe three weeks. And wow. Yeah, the only thing that the doctors eventually had for me was laxatives, which they put me on for two years, and then they stopped working, and I was like, all right, well, I'm in a right pickle now, what am I supposed to do? And it was like, we have nothing else for you, and I was like, thanks. <laughs> so hence, I did some research, and I found clinic hydrotherapy. I've been having the treatment myself for over 20 years. Um, so I started having the treatment done, I think I was maybe just gone 22. Um, and my, my now ex-partner's mom, bless her, because I wasn't driving at the time. I might have been a little bit younger than actually. Um, so I think I started driving at 22. Um, she used to take me, she used to drive me all over the country because it wasn't wow. people doing it then. And oh my goodness, I'd go in there feeling like a beached whale, just so bloated and so uncomfortable. <laughs> and I'd come out and I'd have this concave belly and I'd feel like I was like floating. <laughs> That's it was just the best feeling ever and I thought if I can give this feeling to other people how amazing is that? Because it is because there's not that that many of us that do it. I know people can be quite squeamish. I for one am not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job. <laughs> yeah well it is. 
Oh. Yeah, that's quite um, a young age, isn't it? In your early 20s to be suffering like you were. Oh. You know, it's so important for young girls to, the way things are, the expectation in society to feel that you've got that problem and, and it's private, so private. Oh. Wow. I'm so, about it. I'm, I'm so open about it. I really am so open. Just, I think, because of my journey. So anyone who comes to see me and either the clinic clinic or for nutrition therapy for anything bowel related it's they do open up because to me it's just so normal to to talk like that so i kind of like break down those barriers i think for people where they think yeah. oh, no, we can't talk and no, no yes you can <laughs> we need to have these conversations that must be such a relief for people coming through be finding you so approachable about something so personal. It, it must yeah. be, oh, at last I can tell somebody who understands exactly. and who's going to help me. Does, yeah. Do people yeah. tend to get emotional in their sessions with you? Yeah. yeah. More, I'd say more so in the coaching than, than any other sessions. Yeah. And sometimes I'll combine the nutrition therapy with the coaching dependent on who it is that I'm working, working with. So almost like nutritional coaching then, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. They can, they can do. Um, I mean, I, I, I used to, <laughs> yeah, for all those years. But I mean, I don't have the treatment anymore because I need to have it, which is lovely. I have it because when I trained in it, the all the added benefits. I just thought you, you only went to have a clinic if you were constipated. Didn't think you'd go for any other reason. And then you do your training and you find out all the other benefits of detoxification and the, the knock on effect of every organ in the body and. I was like, wow, I am literally never not going to have this treatment done. So I, I try and schedule myself in at least once a quarter wow. to, to do a bit of a detox. But I have to remind myself now and I have to almost like, when I say make myself do it, it's not, a, it's not that I don't enjoy the treatment. I mean, I don't enjoy it, but I enjoy the feeling afterwards. Um, I'm fine having the treatment done. It's just when you're busy. <laughs> It's carving out that time. So sometimes it'll be right. I know mean, this week is when I want to get booked in. And um, the consolation comes in. I'm like, <laughs> that's for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's the universe answering your uh, prayers there, definitely. Definitely. Well, that sounds fascinating. You talked there also about the coaching that you offer and the nutrition side. Yeah. Do you want to give us a bit more of an overview about the different things that you offer for, for, mm. for I won't say women, just women, because you're open to everybody. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I predominantly, to be fair, I predominantly work with women, but I've worked with children. I've worked with, um, with men as well in, in all the different areas. So, um, but yeah, in terms of the nutrition, so it's nutrition therapy, so it's very much getting to the root cause. So, um, and I'm studying functional medicine as well, which I'm pretty much halfway through. Um, so yeah, very much getting to the, to the root cause. So it's not about writing up meal plans as such, but it's about guiding people and giving them a program to follow, but not specifically like maybe a dietitian or a nutritionist would be right. you need to eat, eat this amount of calories, we don't do calories. And, and, and it's very kind of rigid. I'm really working with people in terms of, they do me a seven day food diary, I analyze it, I look at what they're eating, we have conversations around it, I look at the space in between meals, I'm looking at for them to record their mood, their energy, and their bowel movement so that we can get some correlation between the food that they're eating and how it's making them feel. Um, and then just having those open conversations because everyone will say, Oh my goodness, that was such an eye opener. Because I'll say, listen, you're going to do a seven day food diary. I just want you to do it on a normal week. I don't want you to not have your normal food because it, it can be very, very revealing. And then it helps me help you. But if you start going, right, so this is going to be the week I'm going to do, I can't let us yeah. Like, no, let's have those conversations because I can help you more by understanding what your needs are through, through your food, if that makes sense. Um, but we're also looking for, you know, uh, you know, people having enough protein and they're having enough um, of the right type of carbohydrates. You know, what about the simple carbohydrates? Or are they, you know, are they in the diet? Are they not? So what we are asking when we do a food diary, you know, is it whole grain or, you know, is it white? If you just kind of put pasta or, or bread or those kind of things. You know, how did you cook it? You know, is it steamed or is it fried? What oil did you use? You know, all these things are so... Revealing, and if somebody's health is um, compromised, 
and there's so much that we can do just even tweaking certain things as well and not everyone will be in a place to be able to make huge changes so it's very much getting to know the client so that you know and i have made those mistakes in the past where you know especially when you first qualify that oh no it has to be done like this you know this is the only way you're going to get better and it's like no people work differently you know if you can make a few changes along the way and, and support them and, and if you just work on breakfast to start with or, or, or lunch or whatever it might be and get those meals healthy and then as they get more confident then yeah more, more changes can be made and as people see benefits and um, you know realize they've got more energy or the bowel is moving every day I was working with a, a lady on the transform your gut program and she'd only been on the program for two weeks we've not even started the supplement literally we were just doing the first module laying the foundation and moving for her because she had autoimmune conditions and dairy and wheat and we i have always have like a catch-up with, uh, within two weeks time for my clients yeah and she was like i can't tell you the difference I, she said, I cannot tell you the difference and she she's lost weight she since she was a child she always had to have a sleep at four o'clock she said i've not needed to have a sleep i felt like i've got great energy and my stress levels have felt so much better my bloating is so much better i'm moving my bowel every day she would be lucky if she moved it once a week and this is like oh my goodness we've not even started to happen. this is just the beginning and already she's like getting just some incredible results and i love that of course you do <laughs> that makes me so happy yeah if that's a, that's the yeah. difference of having that job satisfaction from working in the corporate world when it was for somebody else to working with your own clients and seeing transformation with something you've suggested yourself because yeah. you know it works and it makes a massive I, difference so, when we used to do like marketing campaigns for like power tools and it used to just drive me insane for the thinking if they want a power tool they'll buy one <laughs> why do they have to shove it down their throat <laughs> sales <laughs> yeah sales 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 i'm not in this anymore <laughs> So when you obviously made the right move for yourself Did, would you say Riz it sounds like you, um, people need educating on how to shop mm -hmm. properly and prepare properly and, yeah, and how to cook properly and, and plan and that's terrible isn't it that we've come to that stage where there's so much ready-made if you like or yeah, convenience yeah. food yeah. available that it, we don't realize what damage that is doing to our body no, I, I really don't think people do, like the amount of um, preservatives in there, the amount of sugars in there, and it's like, you know, how much actual nutrition, if you think that the, the entire body runs off vitamins and minerals, like you're putting wrong fuel in, isn't it? It's like, if you don't give your body that full complement of vitamins and minerals, and I probably go overboard, to be fair, but it's like, well, you know, it's my job. <laughs> um, but we're, we're going to set ourselves up for disease, because we are yeah. because we need those those essential nutrients to be able to get into the cells so the cells also need to be nice and fluid so that toxins can will be released from the cells and the nutrients can come into the cells and we have cells you know in every organ of the body you know the skin cells the hair cells you know all the different organ systems and a lot of the time if if we've got a diet high in processed foods and high in sh you know all the sugars and all the rest of it the cells become so rigid, they're not permeable. Mm. So you can't get the nutrients in. And we find this a lot. Um, I'm starting to work more as well with um, inflammation and a specific test that tests for inflammation and the imbalance between the omega-6 to 3 ratio. So omega-3 is very anti-inflammatory and, and the omega-6 is pro-inflammatory. And inflammation is at the root cause of, of all diseases. So all your cancers and your heart diseases and your diabetes, it's all stemmed in inflammation. And it's because we're a nation of, of basically of inflammation. When they did the, the um, analysis, Europe, Europe's levels of omega-6 to 3 was 15 to 1. And America was 25 to 1. Now we should be 3 to 1. I mean, when I was doing my functional medicine training, the inflammation module that I literally just completed um, the other month, um, they were saying 2 to 1 is, is the ideal ratio to, to go for. And my levels were bad. And I was shocked. 
and I was so shocked and embarrassed. How can a nutritional therapist have this amount of inflammation going on in her body? And then I looked into the fact that, well, vegetarian since the age of nine, a huge long history of ill health and awful diet um, previously. Um, as a vegan, I don't eat oily fish. I'm not getting the omega-3. I was on an omega-3 supplement, but then I found out through um, Dr. Paul Clayton, who I do quite a bit of work with, with the company that he's involved with, um, that, oh, where was I now? <laughs> My brain's gone. You were talking about um, the omega. You were taking omega-3 supplements. That was it. So I, I learned from um, Dr. Paul Clayton that the, the omega-3 needs to be back with a polyphenol in order for it to get into, into the cells. And a lot of them on the market are with maybe an antioxidant like a vitamin E. And the vitamin E protects the um, fish oil but it actually did nothing to, to actually get it into the cell. Ah, wow. So you think you're doing good, mm. picking supplements based on what you're hearing or what you might yeah, read, exactly. whereas yeah. actually if you don't do it via professional, exactly. you might actually be making no difference or, or damaging perhaps. Which I did for years because, um, yeah, I used to get um, my supplements where probably most people do from the high street. Um, yeah. well, maybe not so much now that we've got the internet, but before the internet, the only... I won't mention them, but the only supplement real um, retailer on, on, on the market. And then I think it was like the first day of nutrition therapy, learning all about how synthetic and they do more harm than good. And I was like, <laughs> literally. <Wow. cool. laughs> so yeah, I really actually did. I'm a big su supplement junkie. So I, I did throughout my whole training, did a lot of research into supplements and one of the ones that work better in the body, um, obviously the ones from food. So food state supplements, because they're already in the state that the body recognizes. So, you, you know, something could say, oh, 100% or 99% of your RDA. And it's like, yeah, but it's synthetic. So you may absorb 2% of that if you're lucky. And they're Where not cheap either, are they? they no, they're not. Too. Like you yeah. get it maybe grown from you know, the start of its life was broccoli and it's gone through a process to get into a, a supplement, then, you know, that can be broken down by the, the client more readily, by it was more readily. But then there's also things like, you know, I, I work with people and we do tests and they have issues with fat um, malabsorption, so they're not able to absorb fat. So we have fat-soluble vitamins, you know, vitamin A, vitamin D, you know, vitamin E, K, you know, that's essential. And if some, and you know, people with, you know, chronic fatigue or, uh, you know, generally you would find that, um, I mean, you know, uh, so many different things as well that we need, I mean, gosh, that indeed for the support of the immune system, but it's like throughout the body, it's needed for so many different, different roles. So, you know, getting the levels right and making sure that we can actually absorb, you know, that it could just be expensive urine if people, you know, aren't able to take the nutrients into their cells or absorb it into their bodies. Yeah. And does that change as we age? You know, are your hormones affected by your nutrients and your body's okay. ability to do what it's supposed to do at certain Definitely. ages? Yeah. Everything is. Everything is. And, and a high sugar diet as well. Um, because, for example, magnesium, we need magnesium for what, maybe 300 different, different chemical processes in the body. And to, it takes um, 43 molecules of magnesium to metabolize one of sugar. So you can see, yeah, you can see how much you can deplete in magnesium. And we also deplete magnesium with stress. And most of us generally are, or most people that I meet generally are pretty stressed out with, even if they're not stress, stress, the stress of just daily living, the mm. stress of just being busy all the time, like running a business, running your home. Yeah. You know, if you've got I don't have children, but if you have children, obviously that's added into it as well. So, you know, there's a lot of stress coming at us from all different areas. You know, stress if we're not eating an organic based diet from all the preservatives that are going in there. So yeah, stress all around. <laughs> there's there's so much, so much that we're not aware of that would you say this when I go back to education perhaps if we're taught I remember doing home economics at school and, and we covered so much but when you leave school there's nothing else then that's down to you and the yeah. laws you've got available is what's available in the shops or you probably tend to do 
what when you leave home what mum and dad did mm. just a continuation of habit so yeah. it's quite difficult to to break those habits if it's come from a lifetime of doing the same thing oh, does it take does it take time for you it's never too late to change is it but does it take time for that to leave the system for you you're talking about that lady earlier that you were on about your program and she hadn't even started the supplement yet and already she felt the difference yeah. how long had she been with you before she felt that so that, that was two weeks she'd been doing the program for two weeks and she'd had such a huge change through changing her diet through getting rid of the dr pepper <laughs> yeah oh wow yeah yeah and just getting rid of the dairy and getting rid of the uh the gluten which is a, a key one um with autoimmune conditions as well so yeah just phenomenal phenomenal so, what does the program consist of sorry Ruth, yeah so she um is one of my clients who is on the transform your gut program and this is a, an online program that i actually um developed during lockdown because it, it was that opportunity that I know honestly a lot lockdown I know it's been stressful for people but it, it's just it was amazing for me to just take the brakes off and just go right what, what is it I want to do and you know have that time it's been a good solid two months on creating the programs and and not just writing the program everything that went into the program it was going back to my core going back to age 15 when all my problems started my whole journey where my body broke down all the different stresses everything that, that affected me and getting into that role of that person and all the different things and where they're at and where i was at and it was quite a painful process to do yeah. Yeah, to literally put my heart and soul into it but the you know and, and that was the the biggest part of the program for me was just writing all of that out touching all those pain points and bringing so much up that you go oh gosh i thought i dealt with that you know i had don't get me wrong i had dealt with it but it's still there isn't it and, and, and that, it's, yeah. it's good that it's still there because that means i still can reconnect with that and i can still empathize them with my clients and what they're going through because of that so the transform your gut program is is very much um I work I don't work with too many people I because I need to give them a lot of support so it's people with chronic IVF okay yeah so we do um, a diagnostic stool test um, which is one that I use all the time so I'm very very familiar with it and I get great results with it um, and then there's um, an online program that, that gets sent out but we also have the one-to-one -one zoom consultations and the bi-weekly phone call reviews where I am making sure where is my client at when are they are they ready to move on to the next stage so the six stages in total wow getting rid of whatever is in there that's causing any harm um, which could be initially just the food um, and then when we get the test results back that can be that there are some yeast some parasites some um, fat metal absorption so whatever it is that, that comes up on that test we know then how to tackle and what to use in order to to do that and then it's just working very closely with each client. So I'll always say, although it's six stages, you know, it's not six weeks, you know, it, it could take three months, it could take six months, you know, um, and, and it's important not to rush it because you don't want to, obviously, you, like you wouldn't want to put a roof on a house that was still, you know, burning, put a fire out and then, you know, or build the walls or whatever the analogy is, you know, there's a process to it. And it's just making sure that everyone is at the right stage before we move them on to the full gut healing and then rebalancing um, and i include all the supplements as well within the program because i don't want people to feel that they then have to shell out for, for more on top of it because the supplements and the antifungals antimicrobials are really really expensive okay. so i kind of want you to take that stress away and you just you just pay this one price and that's your store test included all your supplements and then all the consultations and my support in between that's so happening. yeah I'm really passionate about that program, actually. You can see, yeah, yeah you can see. Bit of me. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the lockdown has given you, as you say, that gift of time to be able to put your energy into something that yeah. you're really passionate about. And you can yeah. see that as you're talking about it. Yeah. Um, it sounds amazing. And whereabouts are you based, through? I'm based in Stockport. So I have a clinic, which we, I have a clinic, a yoga studio, and a therapy room, which we opened up, or I opened up, should I say, um, last May. So we weren't even a 12, 
12 months old by the, and by the time lockdown came <laughs> I didn't stress at all. It didn't, I don't know. It just, it didn't stress me. I was just, it is what it is. Um, yeah. I was actually over in Barcelona uh, doing mm -hmm. a yoga teacher training when they went into lockdown. So I went into isolation weeks before the UK went into lockdown and I was convinced that we wouldn't. Oh, <laughs> so I was just doing my two weeks of, um, you know, isolation and then I was going to be back into the clinic and oh, oh no you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so what advice would you give then? That's really good that, that you didn't get stressed about it. You took it in your stride. You were able to do a brand new program and yeah. it was real real benefit to you yeah. so for anybody else then either fairly new to the business or just coming out and going into the new norm do you have any advice for people not to get too stressed and I think that the things that have really helped me is working on my mindset mm -hmm. because we can very easily dwell in places where we, we really shouldn't and, it, and it's, it's fine to be aware awareness is crucial but when you put too much onus on that and emphasis on that it's about understanding what serves you and what doesn't does it serve me to worry about something i have no control over no it doesn't what is that going to do it's going to bring me more stress i'm not going to be able to focus i'm not going to be able to concentrate i'm not going to be able to have those creative thought processes that oh well, we'll, we'll do this i mean i put i mean when lockdown first started, I started writing a book and doing my functional medicine training. And my diary was just because I did a whole plan for myself and it would be either I'd be writing my book or I would be studying. Um, and that was all I was doing. And then there was a little, a little, I think somebody maybe contacted me, but I think I was putting it out there to the universe anyway. Um, I was going to do programs off the back of the book. And then it was like, mm, maybe I should do the programs before. And then lo and behold, somebody came along and I just knew instantly that she was a person I was going to work with to uh, help kind of guide me with, with the programs um, and that actually I can start bringing some money in um, doing the programs and then that the book can then come secondary to that. So, so yeah, I think a lot of it is that my yoga definitely helps, the meditation, they're doing things that make you happy. Yeah. I think that is so important. Um, you know, support your immune system, support your, you know, your immune system, the majority of it is in your gut. So that's why gut health is so important during these times. Um, you know, pre prebiotics are amazing because they're feeding the good bacteria in your bowel. Um, and they're a great addition to, I, I, I do a really good one that's got like short chain, long chain fibers in it. So really supportive of bowel health, but it's great for balancing blood sugar levels. So anyone with weight problems, it's great for anyone with diabetes, it's great for us, great for gut health, great for any issues with the immune system. It's a real good all rounder. And I think it would be so nice if that message would get out there that actually if you support your immune, I had Corona, yeah, I've had worse flus and I've spoken to so many people who did have it. And, and, and everyone is so fearful that everyone gosh if you get it that's going to be you know you could you, you, i mean i'm not saying you can't die of course there's a new compromise and, and, and the elderly but it's all to do with the immune system so you know there could be a super fit healthy 78 year old and it's not going to have an impact on them because they're supporting their health they're not eating loads of processed foods they're not smoking they're not drinking excessive amounts of alcohol they're exercising regularly and for me if we if, as a nation or the whole world want to kind of overcome this it's about you know go back to go back to the root of everything you know eat from nature you know be mindful of, of being happy and, and doing things that make you happy because that is equally going to support your immune system yeah. um, Fabulous. Yeah, i think that's what what i think that's what a lot of people have found during the the lockdown period as well it's like oh actually i don't really work like this anymore that's right yeah i thought the same yeah, yeah. There's things I want to carry on. I won't go back to the way things were before. Definitely yeah, take definitely. some time out for myself. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody wanted to make contact with you then after watching yeah. our conversation, Ruth, what's your what's your website address or your social media? The, the website is inner health, so dash health dash clinic.co.uk. 
Great, super, brilliant. Well, I've really enjoyed hearing all about you and your business. Your story is amazing. And oh, thank I'm you. great to hear that you've written your book and you've got your programs up and running and you've got yeah. lots of uh, lots of new things to let us all know. And I'm sure our paths will cross again. You're part of the uh, Network She Health and Wellbeing Academy. So we look forward to seeing more of you on the Network She and the Mothership. Oh, thank you. And thank Absolutely you lovely. Well. So, thank you for bearing with us while we had to change location. <laughs> and, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Take care, Michelle. Bye. Thank you. Bye.